Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Go check out my website at skyazrael.com for life coaching and mentoring. Let's talk about dignity. I like to talk about empowerment. Dignity is important in practicing being a dignified person. Some people aren't very dignified. They don't really have a lot of dignity. If you say the word too many times, it's meaningless. What is dignity? Well, it's the right of a person to be valued and respected. You have a right to be valued and respected, but you have to act with value and you have to act with respect. What you give is what you get, but if you're not a very respectful person, I don't mean just respecting others, but worth respecting. Some people aren't worth respecting and they may not be out harming people, but they just may be losers, self-destructive, go nowhere, do nothings, uninspiring, apathetic, you know, whatever. You have to do your part. Be wor worthy of respect. If you want to be a dignified man, have dignity. Walk around and have people recognize that you're worth something, that you're not just some loser. And you have to cultivate yourself like a plant. And this is daily. So how do you practice dignity? How do you create yourself into a dignified person? Well, I've got a little list. One of the ways you can do it is through accountability. A dignified person has accountability. They are accountable to their actions. They're not blaming others. They're, take, they're taking responsibility for what's going on around them. They speak up if they break something at work. Ah, oh, that's the worst, huh? And somebody else breaks something and then you run upon it and it's like, ah, oh, man. And you know what they're playing, that they didn't want to speak up they're, wor they're, they're worried about getting in trouble and they're just hoping they'll put it back the way it's supposed to be and hope somebody else stumbles upon it and let them worry about it. Somebody with dignity has accountability and you fuck up and you go to the boss and say, yeah, I broke the tool. I know, I know, I broke the tool. I, I just want you to know this is going on now. This is what's happening. And the boss may be bummed I've been bummed on people who break tools, but at least you told me. I had a guy breaking drill bits and he's putting them back in the fucking thing. I go to pull out a drill bit and it's broken in half. And it's like, I mean, what the hell, man? Another way to have dignity is to respect others. I mean, I mentioned that. You want respect, you have to give respect to others. And you see somebody who is respectful towards homeless people, respectful to the waiter, that's a good one. If you're hanging out with somebody and they're not respectful to the waiter, if you're on a date with a chick and she's barking orders at the waiter, pff, put her to the curb. She's not worth a shit. We want to be respectful. I respect all other people until they give me a reason not to. A lot of you people have it backwards, where you force others to prove their respect to you, to prove their worth. I assume that you have value and worth when I meet you, and you have to prove to me that you don't. We may be different types of people. You think, well, I don't get burned. Yeah, yes you do. That's why you navigate the way you do. I don't get burned because I don't have attachments on people's actions. The next way is through stoicism. Through being in control, you want to be dignified, be in control of your emotions, your emotional responses, your reactions. The next one is be down to earth. You want to be dignified, be a down to earth kind of guy. Don't be some weirdo talking about weird shit or you're hard to understand. Be really down to earth, grounded, realistic. You're not lofty, talking about dumb shit. You have a realistic view on how the world works and where your, what your role is in it. Be willing to defend others. Be willing to defend yourself and your positions. Both of those kind of go together. Some people aren't capable of defending others because they're not capable of defending themselves. 
some of you only know how to defend yourselves with violence. This is why I, I'm all about guns and weapons and I have a, a whole arsenal, literally a room full of weapons. But I don't suggest that kind of shit for everybody because not everybody's mature enough to be able to handle that type of stuff because their only way to deal with troubling people is through violence. They don't know how to settle things without violence. That, that's the mark of a scared man. Quick to draw. That qu those quick draw motherfuckers, those are terrified weaklings walking around. Somebody with dignity can, can handle a violent situation peacefully. Somebody with dignity can defend their, their argument in a debate without throwing mud, without throwing names. You're a jerk. You're stupid. They can stay intelligent. As soon as somebody starts throwing insults, the conversation's over. You know you're dealing with an undignified person. Another way to practice your dignity, to have dignity, is to be honorable, to be a man of honor, right? You guys that like to watch The Godfather, you know what that's about. Be a man of honor. Be a stand-up guy. Do what you fucking say you're going to do. And the last one on my little list, maybe you can think of other ways to be dignified. I just didn't want to make a really long video. Is to be virtuous. People with dignity have virtue. It goes with the definition. A dignified man is not going to rob you. He's not going to rip you off. He's not going to shortchange you or weasel you. He has dignity. He's trustworthy. And he has virtue. It's food for thought. Thanks for watching.